Welcome back, Filmologics. My name is Kyle Kenrick, and in this channel, you find anything and everything filmmaking. So if you guys want more of that, consider subscribing. But until then, let's get on with today's video. So what are we doing today? Well, today I explain why TikTok is great and bad. Okay, real quick, somewhat a disclaimer. So last week, I did a fan edit in the format of TikTok. And yes, I do consider good and bad things about TikTok. And this is not just something that's fact. This is my opinion. So if you guys disagree, that's completely fine. You can comment them down below and we can have more of a discussion down there. But this is just me trying to put my words in the conversation. Now that we got that done with, the next thing I really want to mention is that this is not a call out at all to anybody who does content in TikTok. Honestly, I respect the grind. I respect the hustle that you guys are doing. Keep doing what you want to do and live the way you want to live. So to start things off in this discussion, what is great about TikTok? First thing I want to mention is that I really do feel that this is a mix between OG YouTube and modern YouTube and I love that because I miss OG YouTube. It's not entirely back to form of YouTube, but it's more of an evolution of YouTube where we want to kind of see it. And with this evolution, you get a new wave of inspired and motivated people to create content. And with this new wave, you get more competition and new businesses, new entrepreneurs, and this allows the cyber industrial age to thrive. And with all that being said, it allows businesses to create products like film gear and make it in a cheaper way where everyone in consumer level could have it because this is for consumers since a lot of TikTok, you don't need a lot of gear. So in the same time, you can make awesome gear for it and make it for a fraction of the price for a gimbal now, like the DJI Osmo. It is an amazing phone gimbal and it is foldable. It is so accessible to anybody and it is so cheap compared to a lot of gimbals that are at $500,000 range. Instead, you get a, th a $100 to $200 range for phone gimbals. That's amazing and you could do so much with it. I've seen great content with that. And it just sparks this creativity like I mentioned before. So I love that about TikTok. But now for what I consider the bad side to TikTok. The biggest thing for me is the fact that content is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And as a person who loves the golden age of YouTube where they were filming big and awesome things like Freddie Wong was or Casey Neistat even, I, I just absolutely love that era of YouTube. And a lot of the things that they were filming was honestly able to rival the things that we film to this day. Like a lot of their content is amazing and great and it's so well done. For example, VJHS, they were able to make a Netflix type of show with just a YouTube, ha like, you know, Gorilla Crew, and they just made an amazing show. It was beautiful for its time, and I still would watch it to this day. And with the shorter run times that we get from our content, we can't really get that emotion and that feeling in our films and our videos as much as we were able to before. And honestly, all you can really get for modern day is a big laugh. So now I've said basically my pros and cons of TikTok. Now I'm gonna kind of defend TikTok from what I just said. And with all the cons I just mentioned, all of that technically isn't bad because change is inevitable. And I've seen amazing things come out of TikTok and I've seen it inspired this creativity, this positivity, and I love that. I also see some parts of the negatives where it's honestly exposing corporations for what they are. People are complaining about their minimum wage jobs. For example, I hated my minimum wage job and honestly, it's all the corporations. It's all that. and. A lot of people are speaking up in TikTok, for example, with Wendy's or sometimes Target or sometimes Walmart. I love that it is trying to add the negative to the corporations and adding the positive to the personal person. So I guess what I have to say is that everything can't really be good or bad. It's always a double-edged sword somewhere in the middle. And the fact that everything will always be changing, the fact that everything will always be evolving and the medium will always change. I want to go along for the ride because I don't want to be stuck and I hope to see you guys there. 
And if you guys want to check out the gear I use to create this video or my last fan ad, check out the links down in the description below. There are going to be no extra cost to you guys, but it will help out the channel, so help us out. And if you guys want to check out that fan ad, check out this playlist right up here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and dream on.